This bar of mass M and length L is hinged at the edge of this tabletop or cliff. As the bar falls, it swings downward, pivoting at the hinge. We want to find the total torque on this bar due to gravity. Those portions of the bar that are near the hinge have smaller lever arms than do those portions near the far end of the bar. The total torque is found by adding up all the little torques, d tau, that vary in magnitude. A differential piece of the bar has mass dm equals lambda dx, where lambda is the linear mass density in kilograms per meter and is constant here, so we have lambda equals m over l. The gravitational force df on the differential mass is gdm. Since the lever arm is x, the torque acting on a differential piece of the bar is d tau equals r sine 90 df equals g times x dm, but dm is lambda dx, so we have gx lambda dx. Integration is done from x equals 0 to x equals l. For the case of lambda equals m over l equals constant, we get the total torque is found by adding up all the little torques that vary in magnitude. We integrate from x equals 0 to l, gx times lambda dx. In the homework problems, lambda is a given function of x. With lambda constant this time, we get the total torque is 1 half mgl. The bar can be replaced with a point mass located at the geometric center of the bar at x equal l over 2, and the same torque would be obtained. In the calculus course, integration means finding the antiderivative of a function. In the physics course, integration means adding up little pieces that vary in magnitude. We're more concerned with setting up the integration than in performing the integration.